all the materials needed for a sensory bottle. Beads, flowers, glitter, another color of flowers, some different colored frogs, both shampoo bottles and empty water bottles. The first step is going to be to grab your empty water bottle. Screw off the lid and place it to the side. The next step is going to be to grab your choice of shampoo. Next, you're going to open the shampoo bottle and gently squeeze the shampoo into your empty water bottle. Once the water bottle is about halfway full, we are going to begin to add our materials. First, we are starting off with green flowers. Gently pick up flowers and place them through the lid of the water bottle into the shampoo. Remember, at this time when adding materials, it is a good time to let the infant participate in this activity. Once the desired materials are in the water bottle, we are going to take a stick and move them around to the desired placement of the materials. Here we can see what the shampoo and flowers look like together in the sensory bottle. Our next step is going to be adding some glitter. Carefully remove the top from the glitter, placing the lids into each other. Gently shake or tap the bottle to allow the desired amount of glitter into the sensory bottle. Once the glitter is added, gently shake and or use your stick tool to move around the material. After the desired amount of materials have been added to the sensory water bottle, we are going to add more shampoo on top. Because the shampoo is so thick, we decided to add some water to the container to make the materials more easily movable. Next, you're going to take the shampoo and water mixture and add some more to the top of the sensory bottle. that we are adding to the sensory bottle is beads. These materials are very small and may pose as a choking hazard to infants. Please make sure that this activity is being properly supervised by an adult. Once the desired amount of beads have been added to the sensory bottle, we are going to stir the mixture together. some finishing touches like a couple extra flowers we are also going to add a little bit more glitter to the top of the sensory bottle sensory bottle to move the materials around. Here is what your sensory bottle should look like. For added interest and educational purposes, we have chosen to add an animal of our choice to the sensory bottle.
take your water bottle, unscrew the lid, and place the lid out of reach of the infant. In order to make the objects more freely movable, we decided to add one third of the water first. Next, take your shampoo of choice, this one's going to be pink, and begin placing it into the water bottle. Once you have added about half the shampoo, you can begin placing objects into the water bottle. We started with pink flowers. To add some contrast in color, I decided to put a green flower into my sensory bottle. I then took the wooden stick and began to move the objects into my desired location. Next, I added some squishy frogs into the sensory bottle. Remember to add what your infant is interested in. Take your wooden stick and move the frogs throughout the sensory bottle. Stir the shampoo and water together so that it is not separated. I'm going to add some glitter into my sensory bottle. We are going to add some more shampoo into the sensory bottle. I've also decided to add some more frogs into the bottle. Next, I'm going to add some beads into the sensory bottle. Remember, these are a choking hazard, so please supervise your child. what the sensory bottle looks like. I now added some more glitter. And fastened the lid onto the sensory bottle. Here is the finished sensory bottle. Shake and enjoy. The side-by-side -side comparison of the two sensory bottles. As you can see, the items in the pink bottle move a little more freely than the items in the green bottle.